centre is to develop next generation of high technology, high skills people for the industry. And the industry in this case is the computer animation, the visual effects and the computer games community, which is one of the most vibrant parts of the UK economy. My project involves looking at virtual reality in naval training. Um, so right now over here, as you can see on the demo, uh, we have a platform called the Mars Tanker. Um, we've also been expanding into doing training on submarine platforms as well as the aircraft carrier platforms. The main focus on our project now is uh, on how do we actually make the virtual reality experience a lot more comfortable for the user. So my work is all about uh, multi-device experiences um, and for the last year that's meant that I've been actually working on a project called Smart Wallpaper. Um, which is the idea that in 20 years you'll be able to paper the walls of your home with electronic wallpaper and change them in an instant. And I'm interested in how we can use these large displays in the home uh, to create immersive entertainment experiences. Something just as simple as when you're watching a natural history programme being transported to the Serengeti or to the Arctic. Uh, and these kind of things just have such a dramatic effect that they're so simple. Oh, I'm working on uh generating interactive narratives for games or training simulations. So uh, we've just made a Punch and Judy uh, show, which is interactive and fully generative. So uh, the idea is that uh, by interacting with the narrative, you actually change the course of events. So I guess the uses of this would be computer games. Um, it'd be interesting to play a game that has a, a story that changes as you play and as you interact with it. I think we wanted to collaborate with the CDE um, to get some students in, to get some researchers in and just to be able to have the freedom or give them the freedom to explore things we wouldn't normally be able to be able to do. I've been looking at ways to uh, use virtual reality technologies to improve the way we rehabilitate quiet brain injury patients. So I'm collaborating with a medical engineering charity, Designability, and the Brain Injury Rehabilitation Trust. And uh, we're you trying to improve how people train social skills uh, in long-term rehabilitation. I'm working with Fat Pebble, which is a stop-motion animation game company from Brighton. And what I'm trying to do is to bring the stop-motion animation characters from the real world to the 3D world on screen. This is very useful in games so that the user can interact with a photorealistic handmade character. So it's a great experience for the user to have that. The title of my project is Colour Matching Between Stereo Pairs of Images, um, which basically involves, you, when you film with two cameras, you get slight colour disparities uh, between the images, and I'm basically just trying to fix that problem. If you look at this example here, you can see this is alternating squares of left view and right view, so you can see that there's different colours there. And if I move to the next one, you can see I've, I've fixed the problem. This work has actually been implemented as a C++ plugin to an existing uh, tool used at Double Negative where I'm based. So uh, it's actually been used for a Ridley Scott film uh, last year, Exodus, Gods and Kings. So um, it's, it's made an impact in, in that it's helped actually bring stereo films to the cinema a bit quicker. So the Centre of Digital Entertainment is such a, a huge brand globally and internationally, so one of the things it does is it, it puts um, Bath on the map for all things digital entertainment and for research in that area. So what it does is it, is it attracts in um, talent, it attracts in investment, links with big companies, and it just allows to put Bath on the map in anything to do with digital entertainment, which, which is awesome.